Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. And did you know on your arcade 1-Up, there are secret menus? It's called the EJB menus. And each of these games features one. It's kind of like a little debug menu where you can change the sound and the audio and stuff. Well, it's also on the arcade 1-Up, which is pretty awesome because these were like secret codes that you could access at the arcades. Now you can access them at home. They're kind of tricky, like a little too tricky. In fact, just looking at it, to do the one on the original Mortal Kombat is like block five times, ten times, two times, well, two times. <laughs> like it's, it's kind of confusing. Let, let's try it out. I'm going to try it out for you guys. Let's see if we can do it just just to figure this out. I, I, I never I've done it one time just to, to, to figure it out. So let's see it. You got to do block five and then 10, five, 10, two. One, two, three, four. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I thought I did it because the screen changed. So it, it's a real complicated process. You can, some people even say you got to do it faster. There we go. So I did it really difficult to kind of get the, the pattern down and you can see there's different things that you could do with it you could do diagnostic test coin boat keeping game audience hello enter your initials character endings different stuff like that so you can watch the character endings set up stuff like that and it's, it's I guess it's it's neat it's a neat little debug menu and they also have it on the other ones which has been really difficult for me to figure it out so here we go, the way to access this, and special thanks to Modding Arcade 1UP. I saw their video showcasing this, so I'm gonna put a link down in the description, give them credit and props. Good job, lots of good Arcade 1UP related videos. Okay, so what you wanna do to access it, we're gonna do Mortal Kombat 1 first. You select the game like that and get on this screen. Now you're gonna hold the low punch button on player two side, low punch and high kick. So it's gonna look like this. Low punch, high kick, and you're gonna hold up. And it's kinda like, you almost gotta be amb ambidextrous. So you're gonna hold, you're gonna hold up. Man, my fingers are short. So you're gonna kinda hold up, hold high kick and low punch like that. And then on this side, you're gonna wanna hold run and block all at the same time and then push start. And you kind of got to hold hold the game. Hold it until the game starts and voila. <laughs> to me that's a lot easier than pushing like block 5 this this is that. You can access the menu. Uh, I'm going to show you guys another. I'm going to try it again just to show you guys so you guys can get some uh some clarification on how it's done cuz it is a little tricky. So you want this screen and you want to select so you want to select your game come to this screen and then do your hands like so so over here we're gonna hold low punch and high kick and up start your game and then hold run block and just hold it And there you go. Again, you're able to access all sorts of like interesting little tests, things like that. You know, stuff that really doesn't matter because this isn't this isn't the actual like arcade arcade machine. But you're able to you know, change stuff, free play, you're able to change the computer difficulty, the win streak, stuff like that. So if you wanted to make the game very hard, you could make it very hard. You can make it harder, medium, easy. So if you own this in the arcade, you could come into the EJ B menu and make a game very hard and just be like a quarter munch, a quarter muncher. But if you wanted to be cheap and play it like that, you could do very easy. So this is neat, neat little stuff right here. And the code actually works the same for all the games. Just a real little tongue twister getting getting your uh your hands over here on the right 
but it does help with modding every single thing on your game without having to do the button presses again. It, it comes in handy. Mortal Kombat 2 has a little bit different stuff. You know, like for example, you're actually able to adjust the, uh, the volume and make it a little bit lower. One main issue I had with the Mortal Kombat 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on the arcade one up was that it was just insanely, insanely loud. So you can adjust it. You know, put it right in the middle. I think that's good, right? Just right there. And then of course there's other stuff. You can change the, the you know, computer difficulty, make it a little bit easier, stuff like that. So I think it's really neat that it works across the board on all the games. All right, so now let's go to Mortal Kombat 3 and do it. So here we go. So again, select your game. You can go ahead and hold low punch, high kick, and up. Push start, run block. Shoot. Almost screwed that one up, I think. There we go. Now, one thing I will say about the Mortal Kombat 3 one, you do actually have to do the button presses to get the inner initials, the Pinocho Miller game, and able hitting uh, fatality. Like, if you do the other way, there's not as much options, which is kind of weird. But to enable your hidden characters, you have to do it the full way, which would be um, really tough to do. I'll show you how to do it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, two, three, one, two, three, four. And you know, anyways, I did it one time, which was enough for me to get the hidden characters. So you'll see. Now I have the hidden characters. But uh, you could still do the EJB menu the other way. It just won't have as much options for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. No idea why. I'll just show you guys right here to prove it. I couldn't figure out why. I was like, what the heck? Watch. You'll see some of the options are missing. See? Some of them are missing. You only have disable hidden. So you can't do enable. You can't do any of those other stuff. So yeah, guys. As I mentioned, the easy way to do it works on all of them. Uh, you can also do the traditional way with the button, the button codes and everything like that. Again, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the only way to enable a hidden is to actually do the full code, even though the shortcut way works. It doesn't offer that many options. As with anything like this, any kind of like software manipulation or debugging, use it at your own risk. <laughs> I know this is the end of the video of me giving you the warning, but use it at your own risk because I do believe one of my colleagues told me that uh, he knew somebody else whose actual RK 1UP got bricked by trying to do the debug menu. So use it cautious, cautiously, be safe, and have fun, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you are brand new to the channel, feel free to throw a subscription. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. We got a big convention announcement. I will be at Retropalooza Houston June 8th and June 9th at the Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, Texas, which is basically the Houston, Texas area. So come on out. If you live within driving distance of Pasadena, Texas, there's absolutely no reason to get off your keister and come hang out at the convention and meet some of us. Who's scheduled to appear? Well, let me go ahead and let you know. We got Boogie 290. 988 coming out. We got Mr. Creepy Pasta, Gaijin Goomba, Wood Hawker, myself, the Game Chasers, and plenty more. And you know what? It's going to be a Saturday and Sunday con. We got June 8th, June 9th, baby. Saturday's hours are from 9 to 5, and Sunday's is from 10 to 5. So there's plenty of time, plenty of panels, plenty of possible raffles and stuff, giveaways. They got free play, console area. It's a great time. This is like the fourth retropalooza in houston i've always been there because you know i'm the best nah i'm just kidding anyways i definitely look forward to seeing you guys i will have t-shirts on sale available and you can just meet and greet hang out i'll sign stuff for free i know people think we charge but no we don't uh and yeah i'll just kind of kick it with you guys possibly even have a beer with you come on out guys retropaloozahouston.com you can get your tickets in advance 
so you have them at the door. Matter of fact, they're cheaper right now if you get them through their website. If you wait till the day of the con, you're going to be paying a little bit. And why not save some money for video games? Now, ticket prices, if you get them ahead of time, right now, the weekend pass, I believe, is $25. And then Saturday's $20, and Sunday only is $15. So you can get both days for $25. Bucks. You practically almost get a day free by getting a weekend pass. So you can go to RetroPaloozaHouston.com, get your tickets ahead of time. Again, it's at the Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, Texas, June 8th and June 9th. Be there, be square, guys. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description.